Here in Australia, we are currently very happily having quite a large amount of sporting success. So currently the Commonwealth Games are on and Australia is leading the medal tally with a absolute ton of gold medals um, and we have over 53 medals in total come and we are currently beating the Poms. And also um, Daniel Ricciardo who is an Australian Formula One driver for the team Red Bull won last night in the race and he was in first with three laps to go after overtaking Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso. And for, in Australia, for a nation of 23 million people, we managed to do, well, we managed to punch above our weight in the world of sports. So Australia has a great habit of punching above its weight in multiple world arenas, whether it's a sporting arena, the political arena, or even in the arts. Um, and per capita, we do extremely well as a country in all of these areas. And really, that is show that influences the entire population because it gives us a great pride as a nation as being able to say we are part of this great movement of people who are willing to punch above their weight and to, who are willing to be able to be are uh, proud of what we are doing, which, in all honesty, create a culture of people who are honestly, whilst being pr proud, are willing to put the hard yards in when it's needed. So, those great Aussie qualities of punching above our weight and being proud and willing to put the hard yards in is something that transfers over in to our everyday life. I mean, you got to be willing to put the hard yards in in order to be able to reap the rewards. And one thing that drastically annoys me is when people don't put the hard yards in, yet even still get the rewards. So, by saying putting the hard yards in, I'm meaning that you're putting effort into something that you might take great pride in or that you might be willing or you, you might might have great interest in and honestly putting the hard yards in makes a reward taste so much sweeter